In some interesting news, Kevin Owens has just revealed that his WWE contract is up in just a few months. We're going to be talking about what Owens had to say, what he revealed, and what this means for the next couple of months as wrestling free agency really starts to ramp up. Could we see Kevin Owens in all elite wrestling pretty soon? We're going to talk all about that much more. We're also going to be taking a look at a report from FightfulSelect.com that chronicles bullying allegations against an NXT talent slash producer. All that much more coming up in this video. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. All right, first things first, let's talk about Kevin Owens. Obviously, Kevin Owens is one of WWE's premier talent. He is someone who has obviously made a name for himself both in WWE and before on the indies, but it looks like he's going to have a decision to make over the next few months because Owens was interviewed by Metro UK this week and said the following, quote, I really don't take anything for granted. I've nine months left on my contract, and I don't know what can happen from here on out. That's just life. If I've learned anything over the past few years, it's that nothing is guaranteed. I've learned that through some uh, very unfortunate events, we've lost so many good people, and that was never expected. And obviously, uh, one of those people you would think would have to be Mark, uh, sorry, excuse me, Jay Briscoe, who passed away earlier in 2023. Owens and Sami Zayn both paying homage to their fallen friend at WrestleMania 39 last year with those PWG tights. So, a lot to talk about here as Kevin Owens revealed, number one, that his contract is up in nine months. We know that Rollins, McIntyre, Damian Priest, Dominic Mysterio have all re-signed. The two biggest names now uh, upcoming seem to be Becky Lynch, which is coming up very soon. But you would think that she is going to re-sign at some point. But then you have Kevin Owens, who is a bit of a wild card and more of a wild card, in my view, than Becky Lynch even for a couple of reasons. Number one, just take a look at what Owens has had to say here. He said that, you know... He doesn't take anything for granted, right? And he doesn't know that what can happen from here on out, right? And I think that one of the things that that people, you know, don't really that that people don't really like talk about is, you know, people have these relationships, people have these the 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 affinity for WWE, which Owens even said later in the interview, like, you know, it's hard for me to see uh, myself not here, you know, in the place that it's been my home for 10 years. At the same time, you have to look at it from two different fronts, right? Number one, Kevin Owens does have friends outside of WWE. He is notoriously really close with the Young Bucks. He is notoriously very close with Mark Briscoe. He, you would think that at some point, Owens might even want to work a match with Mark Briscoe as, as a bit of a tribute to, again, their fallen friend and Mark's brother, Jay. All of those things are possible outside of WWE and working a program, you know, doing the things that Owens talked about early on in his run in WWE, kind of changing the industry, changing things and changing the order of things. Owens would have a chance to do that and then some in AEW. And obviously, if you look at what he has left to do in WWE and where he fits in, that's a bit of a question if we're being honest. Creatively, Kevin Owens is one of those guys who no matter what, he will always be ready to go for a main event slot at any pay-per-view at any time. He's, he is like a made guy in that sense. At the same time, what is there left to do for him from a storyline standpoint? How many more times are we going to see Kevin Owens go out there and wrestle Sami Zayn, which I love. Don't get me wrong, I love that. But it feels like with Owens and, and the way the WWE have used him and hopefully Triple H can can make that better. We know that he, he you know, the, the new creative direction with Drew McIntyre did wonders for him and ended up with him re-signing with WWE. But I think from a creative standpoint at this point, it makes it, it, it's better creatively for Owens to be not in WWE because he's just been there for a, a long time. He's been there for a while and there just does not seem to be much more for him to do outside of just being the guy who comes out, 
wrestles a great match, cuts a great promo and all that kind of stuff, but it, it just feels like the storyline and, and the, the purpose has not always been there over the past number of years. And it's very similar to what I believe Drew was going through uh, or, or what was happening with Drew uh, from a creative standpoint, right? It just, it's just what more could you do? How do you evolve the character? That's the thing. How do we evolve the Kevin Owens character at this point? And is there a way to do it? Maybe WWE is going to have to figure that out at some point over the next nine months. At the same time, you, you also have to look at things the way they stand, right? WWE today is completely different from what it was two years ago. Right now, Kevin Owens, it, when his contract expires, sorry, in nine months, Kevin Owens is going to be faced with an offer that I'm sure is going to be a lot of money, a, a, a massive amount of money. And... He has to think about himself. He has to think about his family. He has to think about his future, right? But I think, you know, like there is going to be definitely a higher chance that he stays. Just because I think WWE over the next year is going to do everything they can to try to satisfy like anyone whose contract is up to try to get them to stay because they want the perception to be that WWE is the big league. They want the perception to be that people want to be in WWE. They want to establish themselves, or sorry, reestablish themselves as not only the industry leader, but an industry dominator. And one of the ways you do that is by retaining talent. And you've retained so many already. I talked about them at the, at the top of the show, Seth Rollins and all them. If you're able to retain Kevin Owens, there's not much more for other companies to really take at that point. So um, as far as will he go... I think, you know, honestly, for me, it's 50-50. It really is 50-50 because we're just so far out. I think we'll definitely start to hear, rumb or hear rumblings uh, the closer we get to his expiry date. So a lot to talk about over the next few months with Kevin Owens as his contract is expiring in nine months. Let's move on now and talk about... Drew Gulak, who was in the news this week for uh, some not so great reasons. So for those of you who watched the WWE press conference after Backlash, you would notice that Triple H was asked about uh, Drew Gulak being one of the releases in this latest round of cuts. We have come to know and Triple H clarified that he was not released, that in fact his contract expired and FightfulSelect.com actually followed up on that and confirmed that his contract did indeed expire, but also gave a little bit of insight into why that may have been the case. So here is the quote from the report from FightfulSelect.com, quote, in asking around with talent in NXT, several talent have made claims to Brennan that Gulak was a, quote, bully who would often target injuries during matches with talent that were recovering from minor injuries at the time. One talent claimed that during a match with Gulak, the former no quarter catch crew member purposefully re-dislocated a previously dislocated finger, while another claimed that, Drew, that Gulak would intimidate talent into not reporting the incidents. Fightful also learned that an incident during an NXT taping last year where Gulak verbally reprimanded, was was verbally reprimanded, excuse me, by Shawn Michaels and an NXT coach for intentionally spiking an opponent during a match. One NXT talent who worked with Gulak noted that he was, quote, odd in the sense that he would often test talent to see how, if they would react to his bullying. So, very serious allegations there reported in by FightfulSelect.com, who I want to note, do some wonderful reporting, probably the best in the business when it comes to professional wrestling news and insider notes. But it, it's interesting that you heard there, like there were at least like three different sources that kind of spoke to the idea of Gu Drew Gulak being a, a locker room bully. And it is not something that is uncommon in WWE. Unfortunately, there was a controversy a few years ago, about 10 years ago at this point, uh, former WWE coach Bill DeMont, he was the head trainer in NXT at the time, who was fired for, not, I'm not going to say similar because we don't, we don't know, uh, you know, obviously like to the extent of, of what Gulak was, but at the time it was reported that DeMont was you know, putting talent through the ringer in, in some inappropriate ways, saying horrible things to talent, you know, verbally abusing them, uh, in some cases, even physically. So 
I mean, look, at the end of the day, if you have a talent who is deliberately, you know, trying to injure people during matches, de deliberately dropping people on their heads, as was noted there in the report, that talent needs to either go away or, like, get with the program immediately. And it seems to be the case that Gulak was not getting with the program. The number one thing as a talent that you are responsible for before, you know, even entertaining the fans, before putting on a great show, before any of that, the number one thing when you are wrestling a match that you are responsible for is ensuring the safety of your fellow competitors. That is that that is the first and foremost. There is a risk in professional wrestling. There will always be a risk. However, deliberately targeting injuries, deliberately targeting or re-injuring people, deliberately dropping people on their heads is, is disgusting because the other person trusts you with their life. They trust you with their body. That is what pro wrestling is about. And when you break that trust because you want to test people, because I don't know why Drew Gulak would be doing this bullying uh, allegedly again, I want to say. But for there's no excuse for it. If it is true, then WWE probably should have fired Drew Gulak. And instead of letting his contract run out, it, it, like th this is just... Even hearing about it, man, it, it, it's it's gross. It honestly is gross because you you are... And this is someone who, like, at one point, at least, I believe, was working as a producer in some capacity. So, given that, it makes it even more just horrible. So, that's what happens. That's what happens when you when you do, like, horrible things like that. But, guys, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. Also, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and subscribe for daily updates. Until next time, y'all. Keep it real.